infanticide? Well, I think you're using um, inflammatory language to basically describe a situation that does not happen. We don't have infanticide happening. Doctors would not do that, and neither would folks who have carried pregnancy. Okay, would a healthy child, later. do you agree if a healthy child is born, that is that woman's right to decide if it lives or dies? What I think is, based on your question, you have a very low opinion of pregnant people. Because if you think no, no, that anybody the, would answer carry... the question. Excuse me. Excuse, answer the question. I'm answering it. Do you no, wanna, you're not. You want to answer take it or you, you want to keep talking over witnesses? What I'm telling no, no. you is nobody would carry a pregnancy and then decide on a Monday because they are bored that they want to have an abortion. That's ridiculous. And it's inflammatory, you're, what you're saying. You're talking about families who are in tough situations where folks have been excited about carrying a pregnancy. Most of the abortions that happen later in pregnancy are really tragedies where it's really a disappointment for everyone involved. But you agree with, I, t I take it with all those words, uh, you do agree with basically murdering a child at, uh, after they're born. Ms. Uh, Ms. Graves, could you answer that? Would you just, yes or no? I have to say... Congressman, how you just characterize the representative statement is is extremely inflammatory and the type of thing that it's dangerous. And what you guys have been talking today about the threats against crisis pregnancy centers, which I assume are are serious and are terrible. The threats I've that people who work of time. on abortion not access take every my time. single day. I'm assuming and that you're part for of it is infanticide. Because of this sort I would of also say that her, her language, language is Madam Chair, not okay. That, uh, Gentleman's time.